Hi everyone, this is Jenny from Spectrum Noir. Today I'm going to show you how to color this little girl's hat that happens to be on our Spectrum Noir colorist test for our accreditation program. Uh, a lot of people ask me a lot of questions on how to color her hat, so I'm a actually just going to show you and that makes it a whole lot easier. What I'm looking for on the test is for people to use three or more colors to blend her hat together. I'd like to have a nice highlight in the front and get darker as it goes to the back. So the sunshine is coming this way. I know it's kind of funny because it's actually raining, but let's pretend we're in California where I live and sometimes the sun is outside when it's raining. So the sunlight is coming this way and we're going to have a highlight on the front of her hat and on the back part of her hat is going to be the darkest place. The colors I'm going to use today are a CT1, a CT4, and a GB5. That's what I'm using on most of the hat and then I'm going to add a little bit of a GB8 underneath her hat to make the top brim of her hat look closer to me or layered on top of the underneath portion. This here actual image I used a couple extra colors. I added a few extra browns on the back but we're going to use just the three colors on her hat today because that's all I'm asking you to do on the test. So here's our little girl. I guess I need a clean one. So here is another one right here and we're going to start coloring. So let's start off with putting our clean scrap paper underneath our paper and we're going to start off with a CT1. Often I start off with my darkest color but because this is pretty large, it's a large area, I want to keep my colors wet. In order to keep them wet I add a base layer of my lightest color and that's going to help keep the wetness a little bit longer which will help blend my colors together. Colors don't blend together very well if they're dry so we want to have this fluid from our lightest color. So there's my CT1. Now I'm going to add in my darkest color which is a GB5. I'm going to outline gently and then start pulling from that line. That keeps me from going all the way back to the black line with every stroke and really helps me not make mistakes. So here's my darkest color. I'm coloring towards my highlight. I'm not coloring up and down this way. I'm coloring towards my highlight. It makes blending much easier. And I'm also not leaving an actual straight line with my darkest color. That will also assist me when I'm blending in with my next color. So there is my darkest color. And now I'm going to go to a CT4 which is my medium color and I'm going to gently overlap the two colors which will dilute the darker color and pull it out towards my lighter color. Again I'm flicking or coloring in the motion with my color going towards my highlight. I'm going to pull it out towards my highlight a little bit more. I'm happy with it about right there. So now I'm going to go on to my citrus yellow one which is my lightest color and I'm going to overlap them gently to dilute the darker of the two colors and again pull it towards my highlight. I personally like to have a little bit of a white spot on my images. I'm not asking everybody to do that but that's something I like to do. So I leave a little bit of white there and then I take my blender pen and I gently soften the edge of that yellow. That way it's not a harsh drop off to white. It kind of softens the edge. I wouldn't suggest using your blender pen like this with a dark color but a very pale color it works great. So there's the top of my hat. Um, in person it looks much smoother than it does on the camera. I don't know why it's doing that to me but it does. So I'm going to try to soften it a little bit so you guys can actually see it a little bit smoother. looks a little bit 
smoother. In person it looks great. So sometimes when you guys submit your tests to me, if I tell you that the blend doesn't look really smooth, you might look at it yourself and see if it's the photography or is it really not blended very smoothly. If it's really not bl blended very smoothly, go ahead and just do another layer on top of it and try to correct that. If it is actually in fact smooth, you might rescan your image and resend it to me because sometimes our photography plays tricks on us and makes our, our artwork not look so good. So here I'm going to take a GB5 and I'm going to put it right underneath where the two layers meet together. So that was a GB8. <clears throat> Now I'm going to take a GB5 and soften that. All I added that GB8 in there for was just a little bit darker color to add a little bit of shading. Some colors I'll add a little bit of gray doing that, but with yellow I prefer to put a brown. So I pull it down a little bit and the same back here. Dilute the edge of that darker color and pull it down towards your edge. And now I'm going to finish it off with a CT4. So I still only use three colors down here. I just didn't use the lightest color and I added in one more dark color. And there she is. So that's the little girl. Uh, it's called Raindrops by Crafter's Companion if you would like to purchase the image. I absolutely love her. And that's about all I have for you today. So have a great day and please participate in our Spectrum Noir accreditation program.